Adam with Rumable. I'm here today to talk to you about the architecture of Rosync. Rosync is a mediating server that helps you keep data synchronized to mobile devices from backend apps that expose web service interfaces. So, uh, the Rosync server sits out in the cloud away from your device. You can either host your own Rosync server or uh, if you're using Rohub, we will host a copy of Rosync for you. And as we said, its job is to synchronize data to and from the devices and to always keep copies of data available from the back end system. So all that you need to do in order to write a Rosync server is, is write what we call a source adapter. And a source adapter has six methods. Login, query, create, update, delete, and log off. If you write those six methods, all of the data that's available in your backend will be kept current down to your device automatically for you. So let's look in a little bit more detail what's going on in all the places. On your device, we have a framework that's called Rhodes. This is our open source framework that lets you write an app one time and it runs on multiple devices. And Rhodes has built in a Rosync client. That Rosync client sits on top of a database that we ship with, generally it's SQLite, and its job is to talk to the Rosync server, which then makes calls to the source adapter that you write, uh, which has login, query, create, update, delete, and log off that talks to your backend system. Very often you can just write a query method. And what this does is talks to a backend app uh, this could be any app that you choose. It might be some hosted CRM app. And that app exposes either a REST interface, it possibly exposes a SOAP interface. And so you will write a query method that calls out to the REST or SOAP interface, grabs the information, parses it out, and then that is going to get stored into a database that keeps track of objects, attributes, and values. So now we're going to uh, go off to the screencast. We encourage you to look at the screencast that's called Rosync with Rohub that describes how you would write those source adapters. Thank you.